we're going at it. We got OJ versus Spark. Okay, a, a real, he's right out the gate. We're going at it. I actually saw a Roy versus the Ike match uh, just the other day. Um, it looks, in my, from what I saw, um, Roy definitely wins the matchup. Um, this mainly because I want to say Ike and Roy are main, are more or less even on stage, but um, off stage, Roy can counter um, Ike's um, quick, quick draw, um, which more or less is an instant kill when you're that close to the blast zone. Um, you can mix it up by going to the ledge, shake the ledge, or um, going above stage, but that's only two different options you have. Um, so if Roy, if Roy reads where you're going to go with it, then he can get down there and counter. Um, so you really going to have to be careful with the mix-up. That was a good conversion on the Nair, taking that first stock clean. Okay, he's going to catch it? Nope. He's still, I think he's, I think he's still, um, he's doing the no mix-up mix-up. Um, and he hasn't quite caught on to it just yet, but we'll see if he does. And if he does, it's going to definitely change the way this match is looking. All right, so takes that, that stock off without too much extra damage. Kind of slowing things down a little bit. A bit. Ooh, got some meaty hits. Ooh, get some meaty hits over his own. Uh-oh. Trying to squeeze the orange juice. Oh, missed the tech for the forward smash. Still going low for these um, quick draws. I really do wonder if he's gonna catch on, because that's definitely gonna mean it's gonna change things a lot. Because you don't really want you don't exactly you don't really want to be fighting Ike for a long time. Um, you need to be like knocking these sucks off as quickly as possible. And with his recovery being the way that it is, there's not very many ways he can mix it up. Either he quick draws, which is the, the main one, back to ledge again. See, he hasn't gone above stage even one time. So he need he needs to start catching these um, low quick draws, otherwise this isn't gonna turn out Anyway, good. He finally goes high. Okay. Back to ledge. Okay, but there's, there's some intention behind it. He's definitely um being careful with when he uses the, the high quick draw and when he uses the low one. Um, but he's gonna have to go out there and intercept him a little bit further out. But at the moment, it's looking good um, for Spark. He's doing a really good job um, on stage, kind of just dueling him. Oh. Yep, going high. So, okay. Plays him machine up a little bit. And, and it's something that's really good. Oh, up kill. Really, no kill. Not yet. Something that's good about what. Um, oh, wow. That was probably accidental. Or maybe uh, just some um, weird interaction. But. Um, Something good that um, OJ did in that last set was he decided to mix mix up his uh, his quick draw height even before he got punished because he's probably I mean if you've made a character you you're very you're hyper aware of the weaknesses so even if people aren't punishing it you kind of like you know in your own heart and your mind that you need to start mixing it up. All right, we're gonna get a we're gonna get Cisco. On the mic, the ones and twos. Yeah, let's go, cool, okay. And we're also going to get into that game two. Symmetry. Oh. Alright, game two, same stage. Um, so what do you think about this match, Cisco? I don't know. I played both. Uh, I play Roy. I think Roy wins this, definitely. Oh, absolutely. They could just go off stage and then in the air. Roy definitely has movement. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, honestly, I was surprised it was as close as it was. Um, yeah. I just, like, I mean, player skill notwithstanding, um, Roy just takes this, mm -hmm. um, and it, um, it takes like a lot to, uh, for Ike to, to make this work, which he was in the last game. But I want to see if um, Spark is able to really capitalize on the offstage and ledge guarding. Well, Roy's a fastballer, so Nair up there kills very early. Oh wow! Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I saw him do it like twice actually. For yeah. Two of the sucks. And he got the was it that jab into back air? I'm not even sure. I, I I looked away for one second. I promise. Counter. There it is. Yeah, no. Counter? Oh, he, he has that to actually hits under ledge. Really? Yes. Oh wow. So he's gonna have to go. He's gonna have to go out off stage a little bit. Yeah, like that. But counter. 
but counter. See, if he goes off stage, he can um, kind of just um, fall the same the, the same um, rate as Ike while he's trying to do a quick draw, and just kind of when he releases. I know the timing isn't like you don't yeah. need to know the timing. You just need to press counter when he gets to a certain. If he he has a, he has a quick draw above the ledge, that's like the either above the ledge or the same level. So if he can't just wait forever. So all you have to do is just say, okay, wait, 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 and then get a clean counter, and they'll probably kill. It's like, very in Spark Saber. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it's not wow. He might have adapted too. Yeah, big time. I didn't even notice the, the stock count until. Yeah, it's, he's down two stocks. Oh, wow. That didn't kill. What? It was a late hit. Yeah, but he was at 140. I know. But Roy's a, you know, he's a thick boy. <laughs> not, is. not really. He's, I don't, he's a heavy, right? Is it? I don't know. I know he's a fast player. I don't know if he's a heavy. I think he's like mid -way. I don't know. I gotta play winner of this. Oh, no. Well, I mean, I can be a Roy Ditto. Woo! <laughs> I don't know. I might go in coin. Let's go. Yeet! No. no he, he has to go off stage for that. Yeah. But I don't think he wants to. I think he's comfortable. And he's, gonna, he's gonna keep going. And that's I mean, gonna be then, uh, uh, Side B will hit up up ledge, though. So I will have a, okay. And it counter will hit under. So yeah, counter is really good against Ike. Oh, absolutely. I, I saw a use like to devastating.